Hello everyone. Um, this is an orchid that I just got in April and it had some suspicious spotting on it. Um, sort of like this. And there were also some roundish spots like that. And when I looked under the microscope at the black spots, I could see flat mites. Now flat mites are false spider mites. They are smaller, much smaller than regular spider mites and they do not spin webs. The damage on different plants can range from bronzing to silvering, stippling, um, depending on the mite species kind of depends on the damage. But this, these bullseye patterns, especially here, well, all of these, um, after I washed the plant off and, and treated it for mites for a while, I, I realized that the new growth was coming up with the spotting as well. And in the new growth, I did not see any um, mites in those black areas. So, um, and they also started becoming really, really suspiciously, like even patterns, like bullseye patterns. Um, and here, there's some down here. And I believe this to be orchid fleck virus. And I emailed Agdia the company who does virus testing. Okay, here's the most most obvious one. Right, let's see, right there. See how there's a dark patch in the middle and then like stippling in circles around it? I don't think this is focusing very well. Let me zoom out a little bit. That one, and then there's one down there too that I'll try to get some really good photos of these, but you can see that sort of bullseye pattern. Anyway, I emailed Agdia and I said, I think I've got an orchid with this virus. And the lady said, yeah, that sounds like orchid fleck virus, but they do not have a test for it because it's not widespread apparently. So, um, sadly this one's going in the garbage. I can't, I can't risk it, uh, spreading mites or virus, sorry I'm shaky, sorry, to um, any of my other plants. Um, my collection does have some nice things in it, so I don't want to risk, and this is just a Zygopetalum, um, it's a Mariclone, it's Advanced Australia. So it's not anything irreplaceable. Again, here's some really bad spotting. And once again, oh yeah, and sunburn looks like this, like that, and it, sunburn will have big wide, there we go, big wide brown patterns, wide dark, I think this also is sunburn, and so is that. I have heard that um, psychopetalums get black spotting quite easily from sun, but Sunburn is, you know, very, very different. So if you have, oh, there's another growth with really patterned, let's see. Sorry for the shakiness, that one and that one. So if you see any plants that have mites on them, also, like after you get rid of the mites, okay, first, what I was gonna say, if you have any orchids with black spots on them, put it under the microscope and see if you can see any mites. If you can, eradicate the mites, and if the spotting keeps showing up, even after you've gotten rid of the mites, it's probably a virus. So, um, I've also heard that, or read, actually, rather, that some mite damage, sorry, some virus damage that is caused by mites does not become systemic. So theoretically, I could take this, all these spots, areas off and the plant might grow out of it. It may not be within the whole plant. Um, but I have stressed this plant and kept it in high temperatures, which apparently can somehow let the virus go systemic. I don't know. I'll, uh, if, if I understand correctly, I will um, put a link to that article up on the website or the quote if I can find it. Did I just say that? I will put the link on the video or in the description. I'll put it in the description 
um, the link to that information about the viruses spread by mites. And these are just the flat mites. I don't know about spider mites. They might do systemic damage. Um, but if this plant was really valuable, I would cut the spots out and try to save it and see what happens. But it's, um, it's, it's not especially valuable, either sentimentally or monetarily. So it's sadly, sadly going in the trash. It sucks too, because this is beautiful flowers that have a nice fragrance. Okay, everyone, I hope that that helps somebody. Do keep a close eye on the strange spots and streaks and things that show up on your leaves. Um, yeah. I've also treated this with fungicides, so I don't think this is any kind of fungus or bacterial thing. And it's also been outside with really great air movement, so I, I don't think it's any kind of... I'm pretty sure it's a virus, plus of what the lady at Agdia said. So... <clears throat> All right, everyone, I hope this doesn't happen to you. Happy growing.